Hello everyone! This is Ninja Girl, Sakura went here back with my The Wolf Among Us Let's Play. Last time we finished up episode 3, A Crooked Mile, by tracking down the witch that Ichabod was apparently using to get glamours and have Lily transform into Snow White. She almost had us fooled by taking the form of a little girl, but eventually we were able to figure out what was going on and we almost burned down the tree that she was using to make those glamours, but I, as Big B, chose not to do that. Then, we actually did track down Ichabod himself at the Pudding and Pie strip joint, <laughs> where he was trying to use a enchanted ring on the girls in the back, hoping that they would, you know, tell him what's really going on, because as it turns out, he's not the one behind everything. There's somebody else causing all this. Yeah. Should have guessed, but it sure looked like Ichabod was guilty, right? But even Snow realized that he doesn't have it in him to actually kill someone, so... Yeah, we finally had him in custody, or so we thought. Until... The Crooked Man rolled up in his limo... With his lackeys, Tweedledee, Tweedledum, and somebody even more dangerous. Bloody Mary, and she... Ooh, she really beat up Bigby badly really bad. <laughs> so yeah, to save Bigby's life, Snow let them take away Ichabod. And yeah, now it's time to start episode 4, In Sheep's Clothing. So, let us begin. Can't afford to look human. You're going to the farm. It's oh as yeah. As that. Do you have any so... idea how much it costs to have an entire family in glamour? I can't finish the mirror. It's missing a piece. Crane must have taken a shard with him. Yep. Open arms. Enjoy your stay. Thanks, Bigby, and thanks for covering for me last time too. Bigby. How could you do this to me? We didn't! I guess I finally see you for who you are! Tell me who did it! Just tell me who did it! I know you know! I don't think he did it. What? Yeah, Look see? Do you really think this man murdered these women? Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> Those idiots even pushed Bigby into his wolf form. But, you know... And Bloody Mary had a silver take, bullet. Okay? Take Crane. Well, this is... Baby. Oh! God! Compound really? fracture! I mean, That's gotta I hurt so bad! Out with the old, in with the new. Long live the queen. Queen, you are not. She's awful, but she's also amazing at the same time. As a character. Jesus. Yeah, I'm sure you all know the story of Bloody Mary. You know. Look in the mirror, say the name, spin around. You might see something you don't want to see. Also, I didn't expect the game to be this loud right now. See around. <laughs> I apologize if you hear it. Business. I thought it was low enough. The silver slug deformed and shredded on impact. He'll be okay, though. Oh, Big B. He'll be okay? His internal organs are positively riddled. If I don't extract every single scrap of silver, he's liable to suffer some long term toxicosis. Yeah. I think it's supposed to be a nod to like the old Easy there. werewolf to move. thing where you can't kill him unless it's with a silver bullet. He's not a werewolf, but I think that's kind of what they're implying. We can't keep leading this way, old boy. Ow! I figured I'd be done before you were conscious. Am I going to be okay? Sweetheart, how bad is it? Well, not the worst I've seen, but damn near it. I must say, you're testing even my skills here. <laughs> Please, don't move it, Doctor. 
Look, I'm a bit engaged saving his life at the moment. But if the fractured extremity concerns him oh. that much, he can set it himself. Oh, I don't wanna. Okay, I will. But I'm not gonna look. If you don't like the sound of creaking bones, look away. Sake. Hey! Get it. Oh. Ah, I was gonna do it. Was it so difficult? Was it? Ow! I was that gonna do it. I just wanted a second. This way, I won't have to reset it later. Jesus! He's lucky to be alive, and he won't be next time. If I've never seen that this. happen, actually. He didn't listen to me before. I didn't know he would Maybe do it if he didn't you. do it. I don't know in, about that. In quick enough fashion. Well, he should. <sighs> there are limits to. What I hear you. I, I hear you. We need to be you more know, careful. I can't hear you. Quiet. Just relax. <sighs> <laughs> Excuse me, Miss White, but perhaps it'd be better if you gave me a few minutes to finish with him. I guess. I, I think I should stay, at least until he's out of the woods. Aww. Believe me, Bigby couldn't be in better hands, and I need the space to work, so... He would... I think he would want her around. around. Right? I don't know if I trust this guy. Oh, please, I could do this with my optic nerves severed. She we'll makes him feel moment. better, yes, okay? Give us the time. Ah, oh, come on. They clearly hey, have Doc, feelings for how each much other. Longer? Colin, leave him be. It's finished when it's finished. Because I once watched a vet sew a turtle together in ten minutes flat. Colin, Ugh. you're not even supposed to be here right now. Oh, really? Where am I supposed to be? I'm here to take care of my friend. Don't With distract what? the doctor, all right? Could Let him concentrate. Not distract the doctor while he has my chest cut open. Yes. Yeah, that that'd would be... be helpful. Yeah. Oh. <sighs> there. Bullet fragments. All done. Great. Nasty work. This isn't a habit you should keep to. Having visits with me, and well, this time, this time was no joke. Eat as many metal shellings as you see fit, but take just one more silver round near your heart. The only place I'll be visiting you is the morgue. Ooh. I believe you. You'll be fine for light duty, if he can figure out what that means. <laughs> he knows what it means. It's just been an unusual couple of days. To say I the know, least. But please, don't give him the excuse. His body will eventually give out. Take care of him. Please. She will. I will. He'll need rest, I assume. Sleep mostly. Just keep watch. She has enough on her plate, though. enough to deal with, Swineheart. I can take care of myself. Clearly. I think she wants to, though. See? As they say. Miss White, Sheriff. Come on, Big B. Swiney. Take a hint. She likes you. Oh, that looks so bad. Poor guy. Yeah, I'd need a drink, too. So... And I don't drink. <laughs> how do you, um, feel? It's Big B, Snow. He'll be okay. Hell, don't worry about I me. I take worse. Don't worry about me, all right? I'll be fine. See? Strong as an oak, this guy. You had us... <clears throat> you had us worried there for a while. Aww. That smile, that was cute. You, uh, you stopped breathing, you know, when you passed out or, or died, I guess. Aw, oh, damn. It, um, it kind of scared the hell out of me. Aw. I've never seen you like that. And I'm here. Swineheart I'm here, arrived, it's okay. Snow, I'd never leave you. Aw. Yeah, you were really fucked up, man. You Wait, I like ruined the moment. An action figure and bend its limbs the wrong way. Colin, I'm just saying I was worried about him is all. The guy hasn't had a nice You rest ruined in days. the romantic well, moment, you fool. <laughs> what whole thing? What's even happening out there? I mean, do you guys have like a plan or something? And who should I be asking? Should I be worried about this the This is a bigger man thing. The crooked man. Bloody Mary, the Tweedles. This is bigger than what I thought it was. I'll say. Yeah. 
The crooked man came out of the shadows for a reason. For him to attack us so blatantly like that. He either feels invincible or desperate. Well, Both, those are maybe. my two options. I don't think I'd pick desperate. What do you mean? You traded Crane to save Bigby. I'm just saying, that's not exactly something you do when you're thank playing her, with Thank her, thank her, thank her. Don't. Yeah, uh, thanks, Snow, for all that back there. Yeah. No problem. Be appreciated. Thanks? You're not pissed that Crane's flown the coop? Or that the crooked man thinks he's got snow under his thumb? Snow did what she had to what do to help me. Snow do? Okay? If she didn't hand him over, my ass would be down the witching well. Crane still would have been taken. Okay, okay, I'll take yeah. your word for it. I mean, all I care about right obviously now the crooked is man is powerful. Just what does the crooked man want out of this? I thought he was just a loan shark. But clearly, he's operating in other circles. It can't just be about Crane, right? Getting him out of town? No. Is this all about the murders? Crane can't be useful to him anymore. Crane was so used. what could There's this have more to do with that. Faith and Lily? Crane was a puppet, and the crooked man worked the strings. This is all about control of Fabled Town. But Most then what likely. do prostitutes have to do with it? Lily and Faith? I don't know how it all works out yet, but I know it does. Somehow. The we'll figure it out. Declared war against us last night. At least that's what I thought when it happened. But now I see this war has been going on for years. We just haven't noticed it because our way of doing things is broken. We need to do things the right way. What does that mean, the right way? What do you think I mean? I don't know, but it suspiciously sounds like your way. Big We're the doing our best. Lines. Look, I know things haven't gone great recently, but we're still doing our best. At least with the That's information we're given. Enough. So, starting now, we do everything cut and dried, by the book, straight as an arrow. Pure as driven snow. I'm not saying I'm the arbiter of... Sure you're not. This town has enough monsters. What happened last night, what you turned into, oh, it can't happen again. Right. We need monsters to fight monsters. You're Colin, right. If I really believed that we needed, we'll him do to things lose diplomatically as we can. Notice. I'll do better. Promise. We'll do better. We have to be better than them, or what's the point? Right. Exactly. Thank you. You're welcome. Look. I'm sorry that I have to bring all this up, but I think it's important. Look, Bigby, I care about how this is done just as much as I care about it getting done. So for that, you want to give him a handicap? Like the bad guys will worry if shit gets sloppy. Everybody wants Bigby to smile and shave and take a shower now and then. Hell, I'm practically the president of the Bigby Don't I'll Be, be Such fine. a Thick Club. Relax, Colin. I can speak for myself, okay? He'll get the job done. Just let him do it. I'm going to... I'm going to let you do it, okay? She just wants to do it the right way. She wants us to do it the I'm right Deputy way. Now that I'm Deputy Mayor, I need your respect. And this situation has to end. What situation? All unglamored fables starting today have to go and stay at the farm. Oh, give me a fucking break. Oh, Are dear. you gonna let her talk to me like that? It's been the rule for a reason. Calm down, everyone. Look, everyone just calm down, all right? I'm perfectly calm. I'm not. Tell me right now. What's it gonna be, Bigby? Oh, no. Wolf's residence. That's rude. Oh, Buffkin, what is it? Okay, okay I thought I was gonna I'll make me choose. <laughs> Thanks. Guess who's waiting in your office right now? Narissa. Narissa. Narissa? That broad from the pudding and pie? Yes. Oh, yeah. Apparently, she told Buffkin that she has something she needs to talk to you about. But that she'll only tell you. What do you think that could be? Hmm. Uh, Bigby's got an admirer. You always do well with the uh, hmm. disenfranchised. No idea. I haven't the slightest. Okay. I should get back to the business office. I've left Buffkin alone for too long taking calls. And I should probably change out of these clothes. 
Consider the discussion tabled, but not over. Okay. Let me know when you're done with Nerissa. Aye, aye, Captain. She's a piece of work. No, she's just... Hey, you're not really gonna she send me to the She wants to try and do farm, things right. I mean, she seemed real uh... serious about it, but I can still hang out here. Right? I don't know. Snow will change her. Snow come, will come around. around. She's just. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Snow the will come around. Hit her hard. Right. <laughs> she doesn't really know who her friends are right now. Oh, okay. I get it. Don't worry about it. Thanks, Bigby. <sighs> All right. Let's see what Nerissa has to say, huh? Poor, poor Big B. He's got to be in a lot of pain. Even if he's not saying anything. Oh, yes, this music. Every time, it's so damn good. Please let it come back for the second one. They have to, right? They have to. I'm sure they would, right? I can't wait until we know when it's actually coming out. I swear the last update we got is it's coming out sometime next year. But we don't have an exact date. But I'm excited. I want to I wanna see it. Hopefully it's on PS4. Or have a PS5 by then. But I doubt it. Because <laughs> one, they're expensive. And two, hard to find. But do I want one? Hell yes. But for now... In sheep's clothing. Hi, Sheriff. Hello, Nerissa. Have a seat. What is it you need to tell us? I, um, are you okay? Uh. You didn't look good last night. I uh, don't sure worry about me. Be... I'm fine. Don't worry about me. <laughs> kind of have to. You're coughing up blood. I think. Huff and puffs. Not many people smoke those. Because <laughs> they're cheap. Uh, so what brings you here? Thanks. So what is it you wanted to talk to me about? I know what you did for me, sending me the open arms. I think you want to help me again. There's not a lot that I can talk about. You know that. So that mm. spell crane was trying to break. It's not just while you're at work, huh? Apparently not. What I mean is, I don't want to waste your time but I don't want you wasting your own time either. Back in the dressing room, at the pudding and pie, I told you what I was looking for. And you found a way to tell me. You sent me to the open arms. Maybe yeah. that'll work again. She found a way around the spell. You can try. I just... Go um... Ahead. It... might work. You're here because the crooked man just sent Crane to the bottom of my list of worries. And you have something you want to say about that, right? These lips are sealed. Dang it! If I could answer you just like that, I wouldn't have had to make that appointment with you. No, I guess not. Yeah, Sometimes we can't ask her directly. We have to find our way through life on our own, grasping and fumbling in the dark. I... I used to have friends to help me find my way, but now they're gone, and I don't know what to do. Oh, you can trust me. Are you saying you need a friend right now? You can trust me. What I'm saying is friends matter, and I... I don't have any left. So I hope you're looking after yours. I'm trying. Are you? 
Look around you. Are my friends in Who danger? What are you talking about? Are my friends in danger? <sighs> I'm sorry. I thought I could do this. Larissa! I need you to know. I want to help, but... But... Your lips are but sealed. your lips are sealed. She wants to say something, but she just can't. I'm... Hard as she wants sorry to. Sorry if I'm wasting your time. I thought I knew how to say it. Ribbons. Faith wore one too, huh? Mm. Yeah, she did. Do you like it? Mm. Mm. Do you? It's not about how it looks. It's not how it looks that concerns me. It's what it does. That's why you can't tell me anything. It's the ribbon, isn't it? Can we take Can it we off? Just take the ribbon off. No, these lips are sealed. What? You can't. Just stay back. All right, all right. It's okay. You can't do that. Slow down. It's all right. I'm not gonna do anything. Please, don't. I won't. It's all right. I'm sorry. <sighs> okay. I get it. So the ribbons, if you take them off. Apologize. Sorry. I wish I could do something. If anyone finds out I came here, that's probably Snow. Yeah, she won't Listen, tattle on you, Sheriff. Can you keep this conversation between us? I could be in a lot of trouble. I have to tell Snow. I have to tell Snow. She has to know about the ribbons. If you have to, just don't tell anyone else. That I can promise. Sorry, I just need to talk to the sheriff for a moment. Please excuse us. One minute. I might have a new lead for you, but I don't know how solid it is. Beauty and Beast called the office just now. They said they wanted to talk to you about something. I wonder if they've heard about Crane. Thank you for listening, Sheriff. You should go on to your next business. I don't think you'll be wasting your time. I, wait, you don't have to go. Hmm. I think that was a little hint. That was... abrupt. That's one way to send a message. What did she tell you? I didn't mean to rush her out. Magic keeps she her from really talking. couldn't really say anything. The magic that Crane was talking about, it's in the ribbon. And you can't take the ribbon off, or... It's how Faith and Lily died. Huh? Okay then. Good work. Thank you. So, about Beauty and Beast. Do you think there's something to it? Is this the right place to look? What could they know mm. about the crooked man? Or do you think they just heard about last she night? She digging a loan from him. Beauty told me she had to take out a loan from the crooked man. Seems like a pretty bad deal. I, I agree. Can only imagine what they're thinking now. We need to solve this before something else happens. Who knows what? I have other matters to attend to. See you later, Snow. Good luck with what you're doing as well. And you didn't want to tell me what you were into either. Good reason. Look what happened. So that's back on me now. Oh. You said it was settled. That doesn't mean I have to agree to it. And when were you going to tell me? Or were you just going to keep that a secret too? You know what it was. 
you know what was going on here. I had to get a job, and you wouldn't have it. Don't make it into something it wasn't. It's the principle of Something tells me we should keep listening. keeping secrets, too. If you're going to bring up ancient history, I don't have to stand here and listen to you. Fine. Go off in a huff. I'm, I'm through talking anyway. Ouch. Trouble in paradise, huh? Oh, I thought that would be a knock. Okay. There we go. Oh. What do you want? Well, you're just going around knocking on doors? You called? You called, right? Or, uh, was it beauty? Why would I call you? Listen, I've had a shitty night. Don't you think you're the only one? And I really don't want to deal with the runaround. Snow said you called and wanted to talk to me. Well, I didn't call. Must have been beauty. She's been surprising me a lot lately. Can I? So have you, Bigby. Yet, with all the sneaking around and secrets, somehow I'm still the bad guy in this. I've had to hear about it all night long from her. Jeez, Who sorry. Who's there? Uh. V. Can I you talk don't to her? Talk. Can you just get beauty for me? I don't know. Is it safe to turn my back? I thought we were past this. She wasn't cheating on you. It's your pal, Bigby. Hi, Bigby. Please excuse us for just a minute. Sure Can thing. I talk to you in private. Yes, let's. Oh dear. Hmm. I guess I really do have the smallest apartment in the woodlands. I can already tell you're going to make a problem out of this. What's he doing here? We don't need to bring him into. Dang it! I can't hear what they're saying. I just don't think we can trust him. Not after the way he went behind okay. my back. And then you oh. come and call him again. Well, I can't. That's lovely. <laughs> Talk about living in the past. It was one little thing. Lovely painting, though. Even if you're right about that. Or do you want to try to sort this out? All I'm saying is we ah, don't break it. Our own. You didn't have to bring it here. We're out of That's money. probably really Stop expensive, it. you know. That's why I called. We'll finish this later. But we need to talk to Big B. Fine. Mm. If you want to talk, we'll talk. Anything else to look at out here? No? Oh, surprising. Oh! We didn't interrupt them. I guess that's a good Sorry. thing. Sorry, it's been a long night. Yeah, you know what they say. Centuries of marriage come with centuries of baggage. Yeah. <laughs> I gotta say, your place, it looks, uh, expensive. What do you mean by that? Beast! No, really, I wanna know. What are you trying to Aren't say? Aren't you in huh? debt? I thought you were having money problems. But it doesn't look like you're suffering to me. Is this something about that loan you took out? From the crooked man? I didn't know what else to do, so... We should deal with this on our own. Bigby's just going to complicate I things. I called him here, and I want to see if he can help us out. Why are you being like this? I'm just trying to do What kind of trouble are you in? Well, what kind of trouble are you in? Either it's the money, or it's something else. I gotta know one thing first. What if we did have something to say about the crooked man? What if we talk and you don't get him? And all this comes back on us? We'd be risking a lot. Well, keep We've your names out of what it. Happens when you cross the crooked man. If you're honest, I'll protect, protect you. you. But only if you tell me what I need to know. And that means details. No more stonewalling. We aren't. Then just tell me what's going on here. Look, we're used to a certain kind of lifestyle, okay? We couldn't just give that we up. We never meant for it to get like this. It's just that we had nowhere else to turn, and we got in over our heads. There's not a lot of work out there. Who would we be if we just lived like... Oh. Uh-oh. Uh, let me just, uh... A day at the beach? Skiing the slopes? <laughs> hey. And we oh. can't come to the phone right now. 
I should. Now, so leave a message at the beep and we'll get back to you as soon as. Let's see who it is. <laughs> Humanly possible. Beep. That fucking message. I'm gonna come down there and bash your heads in with that machine if I have to call again and hear that fucking message one more time. I've been doing this long enough to know that if you had the cash, you'd have paid by now. So consider yourselves out of warnings. It's time to start thinking Who is about that? how else you can settle this. Who is that? The crooked man's gonna get his, one way or another. All I care about is, how can I find the crooked man? Who do I talk to? Where do I go? We can't help unless you tell the truth. The Lucky Pawn. That's where I borrowed the money. The Crooked Man's behind that place. I'd overheard people talking to Jersey about loans before. So, when I needed money, that's where I went. I didn't What's really know going what on do. there? Who gets loans at a pawn shop anyway? What's really going on at this place? The Crooked Man knows what people need to get by. So he provides. Oh dang, her Besides, eyes! <laughs> didn't seem like I such think they a glitched out a little bit. Jersey Devil was explaining it. I can see now that it was a mistake, but I'm not the only one who goes there, you know. I saw the woodsman's axe there just the other day. It was in a display case. I guess huh. he's hit hard times too. There's a lot of that going around. I can't imagine he has a lot of marketable skills. She must have got it from Bloody there, Mary maybe. Mary must go through there. She had Woody's axe last night. Trying to chop my damn head off with it. Maybe if you go there, you can sort some things out. I, I can guess try. I'll go check out the Lucky Pawn. If I can't track down the Crooked Man there, maybe I can make enough noise that the Crooked Man will come find me. Hold on, Bigby. Don't go there. Sounds like you're just going to get Beauty in trouble. And... We don't have to bring your names up, you know. You know that butcher shop, the cut above? It's the place on Tubman Street. Same block as the baker and the candlestick maker. Well, I've been delivering packages from there for a while. The thing is, it's for the crooked man. And I don't think it's meat in the packages. You, you gotta understand, I need it work. Listen to me very carefully. Did you ever see Never him? Never deliver to the crooked man. Can you give me an address? No. I delivered to places all over town, but never to the man himself. It never seems to be heading to the same place. But I it see. It comes out of the butcher shop. How did you get involved with this? Johan the butcher called. He had a problem with the refrigeration unit one night. But when I finished, it was your pal Mary who showed up to pay me. She said I was reliable. She liked that. It's the only thing I've been able to pick up, and it's still not enough. I don't want Beauty to have to work, especially not where she was. So you do their dirty work. You look the other way. Work is work. All I do is deliver stuff. Still, though, I it's very dangerous to either way. For Beauty, give her the kind of life she deserves. That's sweet, but there's better ways to go about you it. Shouldn't have to live like this, scraping to get by. None of us should. We were royalty once. We were accustomed to a certain lifestyle. All we want is to make this place feel a little bit like home. You wouldn't understand, Bigby. Probably no. not. Probably not. So, where are you going? If this all goes sideways, I'd like to know where it's coming from. Choice time, uh-oh. The Lucky Pawn or the Butcher Shop? Ooh. Well, if Bloody Mary got the axe from the woodsman, or got his axe from there. I'm going to the Lucky Pawn. There's too much I guess that's a better more. lead, right? I'll have a word or two with Jersey. You know, Bigby, once you show your face there, word is going to get out. 
There may be nothing left to see if you go to the butcher shop after. Well, I guess I'll find out. Yeah, I guess. Wait. I don't know what you're planning to do when you find the Crooked Man, but is there any way you could help us out? In what, do you mean? what way? Well, maybe you can make this all just go away. We would really appreciate it. What do you say? Can you help us out? You want me to You're kill him? You want me to kill him, aren't you? Is that what you think I do? Uh, no, of course not. I don't know how you'd get that idea. We just, we know that the Crooked Man is dangerous to all of Fable Town. I'm gonna do my job. Lucky for you, that might just solve your problems anyway. Yeah. Oh, thank you, Big B. We're not I'm gonna sure kill you'll anybody. Do the right thing. We'll throw him in jail where he belongs. And let the justice system take over from there. But we are not going to be the ones to kill him. Because that's just continuing the cycle of endless violence that's going on right now. And that's not what our job is. It's dirty. No, it's not. It looks like you slept in it. In a pile of garbage. Tech, why are you... I've seen you take a torn purse for a tenner. Yeah, but I also got her phone number. I don't want your phone number. Ugh, oh, really? Whoa. Big B's here. Oh. This is official just business. Here for information. It's about the murders. This will take two minutes and I'll be out your way. I'm not taking the coat. But it's magic. So? And it'll be covering a check I already wrote. Okay, well, that sounds like a your problem problem to me. Yeah, it is. And so I can't. Isn't that face? Hey. Wait a minute, that's Faith's coat. It was Faith's coat. Look, you left it in my place. What do you expect me to do? Yes, I think the off-sighted statute of Finder's Keepers clearly states that it's his now, Bigby. So what's it gonna be? I don't know what to tell you. See if Cindy needs a coat. I don't know. <sighs> this is to pay for those bloody glamours, you know. You and your blinkered rules. If a witches didn't charge so fucking much, I wouldn't have to be in here dealing with this nonsense. Maybe Snow can help. You no, know, maybe Snow can help you out. How could Snow help me out? Give you an advance. A loan or something. She's kind of in charge of the business office now. Yeah. Well, the last guy who was in charge didn't help us much. So forgive me if I don't expect anything different now. Well, Snow is much better. I don't know what you're getting so steamed about. Shouldn't be that big of a shock that I'm not gonna take an ass hair coat. No, I guess it shouldn't be, since this whole bleeding operation's just a setup for one of his shady fucking loans. Ixnay on the own lays, okay, Og Frey? I mean, what kind of a game are you running here? Toad? You turn down people's stuff so you can peddle his shit. I know who you're talking about. Mm -hmm. Um, Og Frey? The crooked man, right? This is his place, those are his loans. Yeah, well, nice try. To your business. I'm sure you'll have yeah, a lot to me. talk about. Good luck with that glamour, Toad. Fuck off. <laughs> Leave the coat. How the hell do you expect me to get a glamour then? It's not like I've got a lot of options, you know. Look, I'll, I'll give you some money, all right? There we go. You've got to be kidding me. I'm. Oh shit. I thought I still had. Uh, do you even know how much a glamour costs? I've... I've never had to buy one. Keep your money, Sheriff. I've no patience for charity. But I wanted to help. If you're gonna be out like this, can't you at least wear a bigger hat? You know, it's getting old to tell the difference. Between what? Between the business office and fables like a crooked man. How you purportedly seek to protect us from. Either Toad. way, I'm getting screwed. Drop by any time. I'm Look, sorry. I'm sorry, all right? What else do you want from me? He really grows on you. Eh. He's just mad right now. Look, I work here sometimes for the extra cash. It's something stable. You know, between more entrepreneurial bouts. And before you ask, I've never seen the crooked man in here. Neither hide nor hair and all that. In fact, as far as I can tell, he's never even actually stepped foot in here. 
But Bloody Mary works for him. And the last time I saw her, she had the woodsman's axe. So? So the last time anybody else saw that axe, it was here. We'd never take something like that. You sure? Is this really why you came down here? The woodsman's axe? Because I don't know it anything It will lead to him. Yeah, it's why I came down here. It'll lead me right to the crooked man if I can track it. He's been sending people to kill me. And I'd like to have a little chat about that. Was the axe here? As would I. No. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. I think I'd notice a giant mystical axe. And that's saying something. Since, you know, I can sometimes miss the Mind obvious. if I look around? I, I won't bring Beauty up. Bit, then. Cause then, and what he'll if know. I did mind? We'll leave her name out of it. it. Listen, I gotta start closing up shop, so, uh... Close? It's the middle of the day. What can I say? Jersey likes to run at odd hours. And really, he'd be the one to talk to, so... Can't you just swing by later? It really wouldn't be good for me if he sees your face when he walks in. So You're uh, hiding I something. I still think you're hiding something, Jack. Maybe the axe is back here. It's not. It was bad enough in the woodsman's hands. And if it's not here, I need to track down that psycho who had it last. It's not here. You better hope not. Can't you Shut just... up, Jack. If the <laughs> Jersey Devil isn't here to answer my questions, it also means he isn't here to get in my way. So I'm going to take a look around, as long as I've got the elbow room. All right. Don't let me get in your way. I won't. Yeah, I won't. A crystal ball. I wonder whose that is. Just my luck. <laughs> Can't use it because it's cracked. Aw. Oh well. A horn? Huh. What fairy tale could that belong to? Rings! Lots of jewelry. Huh. Nothing useful, though. Nice as they are. Hmm. Oh man, I didn't mean to trigger that yet. I thought you said you'd never take something like this. Uh, uh, what? I, I, do, I don't, uh... When was she here? Jack? Uh, yeah? When was Mary here? Was who here? Bloody Mary. Because the axe was here. But it's gone. And she had it. So she was here. I don't know anything about that. I don't, really. I mean, I don't work every day, so... Uh, I want uh, the truth! Tell me the truth. What happened to the axe? It was Mary. She took it, okay? That's all I know. That's all you know? You don't know she almost fucking killed me with it last night? No. No. I had no goddamn idea. She sometimes comes in to pick up shit. Sometimes... Why did she her. want Why'd it? Why'd she take it? Just to fuck with me? You think I'm crazy enough to ask her that? I'm not sticking my foot in that lawnmower, thank you. Well, for your sake, you better think of something to tell me. That's all I can tell you. I'm being straight here. I'm just part-time. I mean, it's Jersey who's the one who's into this stuff. He's one of the crooked man's boys, okay? And it'd be great if he was here to tell you all this, but he's not. So just... Jersey, don't... don't give me that shit. What the fuck is the point of having a system if you're just gonna... That's my fucking system. But you... You're the guy who makes sure I'm the guy to keep shit in order, and that's it, Woody. Who closed the fucking gate? Jack? Well, well. If Hello? you love your ex so fucking much, why'd you pawn it in the first fucking place, huh? I didn't pawn it, asshole. It was stolen from my apartment. And Grinch said that he saw it here. Now tell me where it is Hiya, right fellas. fucking now. Hiya, fellas. Christ. And this fucking guy, too? Bigby? What is Zach even here? Nope, it isn't. Just like I said, it's not here. Happy? I got shit to do, so whatever you're here for, make it snappy. Hey, don't poke your finger uh, at me. He wanted to know where... Actually, I've got you know questions. What? I don't care what he wanted. You work with the crooked man. Now, until I give you permission, you're not going to do anything but answer my questions. Uh, how's your arm? 
Bloody Mary leaves a bit of a stink, don't she? Jack, did you know that as of this very morning, Bigby's joined the Crooked Man's Obedience School for Wayward Fucking Creatures? He's already passed his first class. You see, Pardon the sheriff me? had who he stupidly thought was the murderer been chasing him for fucking days, right? But the Crooked Man snapped his bony fingers and Bigby handed him over just like that. I'm, uh, just gonna, uh, let it you It didn't happen like yeah, that exactly. I didn't exactly put it like that. Huh. <laughs> Jack scurrying out the back. Are you kidding me? For the it front. Was here. I don't it blame was him. Right fucking here. What did you do with it? How the fuck do I know? Listen, you bald little dipshit. You're gonna Ooh. Ow! You piece of shit. Oh god. I'm gonna rip your fucking lungs out. I'd like to see you try, you backwards <laughs> fuckwit. Oh, big talk. You won't be I might regret I'm this. Back it up, Jersey. You're dealing with me now. I didn't expect to see you upright. Still looking really? for whoever killed them hookers? Or are you done chasing your tail? Where's my axe? Who'd you give it to? You back off, Jersey. All the way from Battery Fucking Park? Hey, back off and settle down. Oh, what the fuck are you gonna do? You talk. You don't wanna know what I can do. But I don't think you got the stones to back it up. Ow! Still a little sore, are we? Why should Mary get all the fun? You ain't so tough. Ooh, you are pushing your luck. I'm just gonna handle you myself, and I won't need no. You want to see who's tough? Fucking motherfuckers! One more for good measure. What the hell are you doing? This is my fucking fight. Not now, dog. You got a lot of nerve. Woody? Now is not the time. Yeah, if you couldn't tell Jersey was the Jersey Devil. In case you weren't sure what favor he was. Eat! Get off him! Digby? Calm down. Too bad you couldn't protect those holes. Oh, you. <laughs> That's low. Go on. Try to stop me. Ah! Fucking stay down. That was close. There she is. I thought it was going to be R2. Do I? Yeah! One more? Oh, no. He got out. Oh! Yeah! Back off! Oh! Nash! Yikes! Go! Okay, that may have taken it too far. No! I was too slow on the draw. Leave me alone! Ow, 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 ow. Not funny. Ah. Not cool. Stop it. Hey, asshole. I found her. Thanks, Woody. Nice timing. Woo. Uh-oh. He's not down yet. Woo-hoo. Anvil, go. Woo-hoo-hoo-hoo. -hoo. I didn't want to kill him though. I just wanted to knock him out. I hope that didn't kill him. Okay, good. We're good. <laughs> Don't. No. No, no. So, wanna try again? You can't find a crooked man. No one can. Try me. There's no address, no place. He lives in the bends and forks of tree roots behind the sun in the <coughs> shadows. That's not good enough. Oh, the door to his house. It bounces around, never in one spot. 
You'll never find it. Even Crane had to use the magic mirror. That fucking guy. <laughs> How do okay, you contact Crane's him way. then? How do you contact him? Oh, I know. He uses couriers for everything. Ravens, oh, goblins, the fucking Tweedles. Whatever. I go in when I'm taken there. You don't know anything about anything, do you? What do you have? Nothing. Had ah, useless bitch Snow White in a broken fucking mirror. No fucking How do you know friends. it's broken? You hear it got broken. Oh, that. Gossip flies fast. We're like a sewing circle. It doesn't matter what you fucking do. You're not gonna get him. You wanna knock on his fucking door and see what happens? Fine. Crane had the mirror. Bloody Mary had Crane. So take your fucking wrecking crew act to the butcher shop. The cut above. If I can find the mirror piece there, I can find the crooked man. That's her spot. That's where all the magic happens. Now leave me. So I can find some aspirin. <laughs> oh, oh. Uh, if you're lying, you're I'm coming back. Come back here and finish the job. You got what you want. Now get the fuck out of here. Very well. But I mean it. Hey, Sheriff. I'll come back if I must. Those girls are still dead. Oh, and there's nothing you can do to bring them back. No. And I don't we... know what they did. But I do know this. Oh, if they're dead, it's because the crooked man wanted them dead. We can't That's change their fate, but we can bring their killer so to justice. You can roar, smash the place up. <laughs> Shit. You can wail on me all you want, but what good is it gonna do you? Because he ain't in your town. You're in his. And he sure as shit is ready for you. Hmm. Out of smoke. I'll give him one. He did help us out in there. Here you go. Enjoy. Thanks. You're welcome. Shitty grand. <laughs> so he's heard. You're welcome. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I was having trouble deciding which one of you to hit with this thing. Well, I'm glad you made the right choice. Thanks. <laughs> Jersey was wrong, you know. Hmm? About what? About those girls. There is something you can do about it. You can get the fucker who did it. That's the plan. Ain't that the plan? I'm planning yeah, on it. You're damn right it is. All right, we'll go do it then. Like I said, we can't change their fate, but we can bring their killer to justice. If nothing else. You gonna be okay? Hey, Woody. Yeah. You gonna be all right? You know me. <laughs> Resilient, right? See you, pal. Let's see, how long have we been going? Almost an hour? Alright, so I guess after this cutscene, I will stop the video for now. No smoking. <laughs> Better put it out, Big B. Fine. We'll follow the rules. Didn't expect that to be a choice. Okay. Well, yeah, I think I'm going to end this part here, but things are definitely heating up even more. And maybe, just maybe, we will find the Crooked Man. 
sooner rather than later. But yes, if you did enjoy this video, leave a like, share it around if you want. If you want to follow me on Twitter or support the channel on Patreon, both links will be in the description below. And yeah, I guess next time we'll investigate this butcher shop, the cut above, and see what we can find. Until then, see you guys later.